under an umbrella that our children have lost hope. Our children, when they get to 15, 16, 17, we have been put under an umbrella. They don't have courage anymore to go forward. They don't have hope anymore to go forward. They, are, they end up in guns. They end up in this. That's not the case. Most of our children have made it. But it's because our children don't end up on the news. Most of our children have made it to the big universities. But it's because their parents are not politicians. Their parents are not business people in this country. So who is going to recognize our children? No one. But what we're saying, okay, if a small percentage has made it, why is it that we cannot encourage as many children right from the young age? Please embrace technology. Do you know Kumanya? What do we want? A te goro yo disetting on waka tu kamu, owa waka magala, owa makagara na friendship yakata. Na yo again upsetting a bin to vanima tebgenda kola. I know Kumanya Oyakarach. The government and all is so so naive, no way on a triangle, um, a Japum to Mundi, or Chana Yoga, and you know, Seka, you know, come on, right here and there, you know, by your victory, the word you ever, ever. Now, yes, you were setting your own goals, no government, you know, to be with one making you have the word to Japo Geramu, you have to communicate in the bedroom communication in Yoku Beramu. Our third communication. Our tiny language, our tiny then they begin to call. At the way, when we take it, cause it to take a gamba to call it off. Cut our one day to be there. Um, Chana, you are so messed up. Cage. We are in prison in in our own even lives. Kuvanga kwenye nini uwezi? No better. Oh yes, we are in prison within your own self. There is conflict within your own self. Tomanyo ya galachi, tomanyo wa vemu wa vogende, tewali kansori inge Uganda, ejo chobo ya yogede, um, ala paura ya yogede, kubintu vyo kore la wamune to working, vanange, lack of counseling gundi services in Uganda, zine sabachara, nesima letting her down so much, awana wa wala wa baba kafumbiwa, oruza la yo mwano umu, badiri ni mamufu, na mfula nga rap, Omwana tamanya wokuraga, am suza wakweru, akura so moving to get no pogira ko. Let's talk about counseling services. The vita therapeutic counseling. Because me, I happen to be a counselor, I'm a midwife. But I thought it was yours and I was being very generous to you. But then when he opened it, uh, without me seeing, he went, then it was going Most of us here, we know. But we are here to encourage us to, we have to embrace technology. Or else, we are going to lose out. Our children are going to lose that competitive advantage. You give, um, someone was saying, okay, if I have a toddler, if I have a baby, your baby can benefit from your tablet. Why? The music, the pictures, your own pictures. Record yourself, record yourself singing. Let this child get into the system whilst they are young. This is where we are. We cannot do anything about it other than embracing the generation we are in. Now, as we embrace the technology, it comes with responsibilities, it comes with risks. Because obviously, the biggest problem we have is Facebook. But the age, because the children we are talking about here is from 0 to 19. 19 and above, they will tell you mom, chile In fact, they will buy their own things. Well, I use a Benef um, benefits, I think. Because I have to remember this. You know, really, really, you are very beautiful. I think I can know that when I'm communicating on network, I'm 
we cannot forget our backbone, which is agriculture. And in agriculture, there are many levels. The production also, you can invest there, especially mechanized farming, which is very, very you know, missing. But the part of agriculture that we are now really focusing on is agro-processing. And I think there, really, you will not fail to get, to get uh, something to do. I, this one I can uh, talk about it authoritatively because when I was in Makerele, the institution I founded, actually I forgot to inform you by Pauline that I also founded something. I founded the, the Department of Food Science and Technology at Makerele University. So, uh, yes, I did. And after others joined me and we, we developed it. About the registering Uganda process has been going on. Registering Ugandan, Uganda IDs. Are we going to have the chance to be registered as well here? And another one is about the dual citizenship. Yeah. What's happening? <laughs> we need to find out whether it's been implemented or it's in the process and how do we go about it? Thank you very much, Your Excellency. But of course, until the question is answered, it will still be you know, asked. So that, that's the dual the citizenship, okay, and then the, the registering. The reason I'm writing them is that the registering is going on, as you were saying, in Uganda, as I was there, it's going on. But how we are going to register the diaspora people is what I need to find out. So that one I will find out and then maybe pass the information through through Pauline. Registering there's this is registering because we want to have more national IDs, but then how about the people in the diaspora? This dual citizenship, it seems a, a simple question, but it is not. In fact, each year, this one has now reminded me to tell you something I had forgotten. Each year, this question comes up because, you know, for the last three, now it's going to be the fourth year, there is the Uganda Convention. Do you know about it? Yes. You have attended it? Yes. Yeah. And then there is going to be, this year, it's going to be on 13 September. Have you registered? No. You have to register online. Hmm? You have the, 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 the contact, the website? Okay. So, this, in fact, sometimes, they bring uh, people from the, the from the Ministry of Internal Affairs to come and explain this dual citizenship. They come, they explain, but it's still not solved. What I can tell you is that at the High Commission, we have not started giving people dual citizenship. In that, you need to go home and swear to a committee, which we cannot we cannot handle it here. I told them, since we, you have tasked us with this, why can't they swear to us? They said, no, there are some uh, specific, it is illegal, it is through the legal system. Maybe if there is a lawyer here, he can explain. So that is why the dual citizenship has not happened here. If you want dual citizenship, you have, unfortunately, to travel to Uganda, and uh, there is a special committee to handle that. So that in that case, we can't tell. Because when I heard about it, when I had just come, I said, oh, this is very good. When are we starting? So my people said, no, it's not easy. I said, why not? You know, you see, when you are new, you think you can solve all problems. Why not? You know, until this technicality came up that they cannot do it here, whoever wants it has to go to Uganda. So that is. How it is. the name always a problem. Good evening, Pacho. Uh, I'm your host for today, and I'm running music. I am La Face in uh, North London, Edmonton, and I am speaking to Josephine Chambade. 
I hope I've, I've got that correctly. Uh, Josephine Chambada is an author. You're an author? Yes, I'm an author. She's five a, books. Five books. She's, she's a mother. And uh, she was uh, one of the guest speakers here uh, at the um, Apple Women's Group. Well, Apple Group. I'm not sure it's a women's group, but Apple Group. And I'm just going to ask you a few questions. Josephine, good evening. Hi, everyone. God bless you. Um, they've already introduced me. I'm Josephine Chambade, and I came here as a guest speaker, but I'm also a member of this Apple Women's Group. It's such a blessing to minister to these wonderful women. Okay, um, obviously uh, you've come here to minister and to uh, give a word of encouragement to the ladies here. Um, the first session was only women only session. And the second session, uh, was that on a women-only session or it was uh, everybody included? It was only for the women. Of course, the singles, the married, everybody was included. But obviously, as we go on, we believe even men will come on board. Hmm. Okay, um, you're an author of five books. Uh, could you tell us what they are? And... Um, Obviously, you're, and just let us know what you were talking about in this women's group today. Okay. Uh, by the grace of God, I've written five books. My first book was Woman, You Are Great. It's about empow empowering women to take their place, to influence the society. I've also written, I wrote another book called God's Grace in Marriage. Uh, it's such a wonderful book. I also wrote a book about parenting, Mom and Daddy Wake Up, and another book about um, when I was suffering from cancer. It's called In My Darkest Hour. And the last book is The Balanced Woman. And in this book I teach about, I teach, I encourage women to learn how to set their priorities right, knowing their roles as mothers, um, wives, um, being a career woman, how to juggle those balls around and today i have been encouraging singles and my theme was um, breaking the cage of singlehood and i've been encouraging women to understand especially single women to understand to understand that fear is not their portion because when you think about a cage what comes in the mind is fear depression stress loneliness so i've been encouraging the women to stand up and know that even if they are single, they can still rise up and influence their society, flourish. I've been talking, encouraging them to rise up and also take care of themselves because they are believing God to get a husband. So one of the things that I was telling them... I'm um, sorry, I know you're, not, you're, you're, you know, you're, go, you know, you're talking and yes, you're yes. very passionate what you're talking about. Um, you were talking about how you're encouraging women uh, and you know to find partners to phase not their portion I mean what would you say to uh, somebody who say for instance has uh, been married and divorced and said I've been there done that you know I'm happy where I am I would still encourage you my sister that it's not over you can still rise up if you are divorced and you you know you feel God is leading you to get married and you have the right reasons, why not? But if you feel that the chapter is over, you can still pass, you can continue with your life. If you have a vision, pursue it. If it's a business, continue with it. Don't allow anyone to put uh, you Good down. evening again, uh, or good day, good night, wherever you are. This is going to be coming up to you online TV for Power Trump. Um, we've also got another lovely lady called Lucy. Let's introduce ourselves, please. Uh, my name is Lucy Mirembe Mwesigwa. Thank you for having me. Okay, Lucy, um, you are you part of the Apple Group? Yes, I am part of the Apple Group. Um, how long have you been a part of the group, and what does the group bring as a collective for the ladies? Um, um, it's coming to a year and a couple of months, and uh, what this group actually brings to me, or us as women, is openness, being bold, and saying things without, um, you know, the fear of being judged. You just say your heart, you say your mind, you say what you feel, how you feel, any way you want. 
Do you, um, obviously, you were one of the keynote speakers today. What was the theme of your, um, of your speech or your, your encouragement to the ladies? That was uh, parenting in the diaspora. Okay, if you can give us a quick, expl a, a quick example, explanation or synopsis of what that is all about. Um, with that, uh, my approach was, you know, you don't have to be tough. You don't have to be bold with these children. There is another way of actually connecting to them in real time, down to their level. You don't have to spank. You do not have to yell. You can just have a, a different kind of parenting without the harshness, the violence, actually when it's full of love and care and so much fun. Okay, Paula, as you're the organizer, when did you start, when did you start this um, um, upper group and why did you start it? Okay, upper women's group started off in October last year, 2013. It was an idea of trying to link women in the diaspora and women back home in Uganda, but also women in any other country in the world. The whole idea was to create a platform for women to exchange ideas, vital information about their lives, business ideas, create a platform for inspiration, but also to encourage women who are bringing up children in the diaspora. Okay, uh, that's the uh, women out there. Please, 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 you need to know Apple. Join Apple, it's a very good group. Um, before we go any further, um, where can we find you? Are you on Facebook? Are you on, have you got a website? Have you got a number we can get in touch? Where have you gone? Currently, we are mainly an online community. Because of technology, we've had this opportunity to keep in contact. It doesn't matter where you are. You could be in America, you could be in UK, you could be in Uganda. But now we have created that online community on Facebook. Outside, outside Facebook, we organize events like uh, conferences, we organize public speeches, we organize get-togethers to allow these women to meet in person and exchange ideas. We are going to work with the High Commission of Uganda to raise the awareness of this group so that our cause is expanded in Uganda. We want more women to learn about these countries, to know exactly how it is in this country, so that they are not so naive. They are not lied to. They not. They do not end up in trafficking, human trafficking, or come to these countries and then they end up doing slavery. So we want to expand it further to our own country, and then we start doing conferences in a variety of countries. Yes. I mean, that is very, 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 very good. Um, there are a lot of Ugandan women who are exploited. I mean, Ugandan women are going to India, to China for prostitution, and a lot of them end up on the streets, so some of them get, end up getting killed. I mean, it's such a sad, sad, sad situation. Things like this definitely help. Um, could you let us know again how we can find you, if you're going to contact numbers, you can give it up, and uh, yeah, that'd be great. The best way to contact us now is through Upper Women's Group on Facebook. Upper Women's Group on Facebook, but also we have a committee. I mean, if anyone is listening, we do have administrators in any country. If they're in Uganda, we are going to be supplying out the names and the contacts of those administrators in Uganda. If you're in America, you'll have to contact that person in America. All this is going to be very clear and very accessible as we live here. Fabulous. Um, one more thing. Uh, you've got ladies who've who come from far, you know, people have come from America, they've come from some parts of Europe. I mean, it's amazing. Austria, I mean, to come to this event, how awesome. We've got to give it up for the ladies. Yeah, uh, that explains what the group has done. It, show, it, it is enough to explain. If we've had ladies coming from America, from Ireland, from Sweden, from Netherlands, simply coming for an event that we have organized, that is enough to explain how beneficial this is, how much our information has been of good to these women, and that's why they are ready. They are ready to board the plane and come to the events that we've organized. 
Paula, thank you very much. Just look into the camera and give our listeners a last word and we'll be gone. Hello, listeners. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to explain my idea to you. I am so, so very happy to be here, to be able to have such an audience. We do hope that you join us on the online community, you join these groups, you join business groups. We are hoping to move the Ghanaian community from the level that it is now to a super level. We are not going to remain the same. We are aiming higher. Thank you, thank you very much. Job I miss you every night. I miss you in my bed. Baby, no, no way. I miss you today. I miss you yesterday. I miss you all the time. I miss you every night. Baby, I miss you in my bed. Baby, no, 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 no. Thank you so much for inviting me. My name is MC Mose, Mama's Boy. I'm looking forward to seeing you next year. God bless you. Your performance, however, it was short lived. Well, what was going on? Uh, I just wanted to make it that way so that they can want more for their next event. So, Mr. Moza, what's your plans? What's happening in your uh, music? Um, trying to finish my album. I haven't released an album yet for the last few years that I've been doing music in London. So, I'm planning to launch my album very soon. I'll let everyone know about the venue and the date very soon. Okay, Mama's Boy. Now, you've been performing for these ladies here. What has been the highlight of your performance? Uh, my highlight is uh, uh, I'm so impressed with what, what they're planning to do is bringing themselves together and do something constructive. So um, everyone out there, Apple Women is group is the group to join and uh, get to know what their agenda is you may like it. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much for having me. How long have you been part of the uh, Apple Book, Apple Women's Group? I'm um, a year and a bit. So what do you take out of it? What I take out of it is that there is a lot of potential in the diaspora with so many Ugandans out there who are all in their little world and haven't come out to engage with others and network. So there's a lot to be, to grow really. Okay, as someone who's attending, you know, you're not part of the organization team, you're just somebody who's a member. Yes. Do you feel 50 pounds was worth the, um, was worth the package you've been offered or you've been given? I think it was worth it. I think it was worth it. Um, we could have had more in terms of discussion, but on the whole, 50 pounds is a lot of money, but we got quite a bit of everything. Yeah. Um, what would you do, what would you tell the organizers to do different next time? I would suggest that they handle fewer issues or topics at a time for people to get more out of it than have just a bit of this and a bit of that and everything is spread too thin. I think they should have two or three serious issues to discuss at a time. Okay, nearly done, nearly done. You have the commissioner here. Yes. Um, do you think her presence was worth being around? Her presence was worth being around because she probably got to know about the upper group. It's probably one of its kind here in the UK. I haven't seen anything like that. And if you get into networks with um, the authority in Uganda, in the UK, then there's potential to have more, to in engage with more people. Yeah. Thank you for your time and have a good day. Thank you.